So let's start in the OK White. Byron Center, Forest Hill Central, Bulldogs, the last team to from the White to beat the Rangers. Boy, <laughs> after a scoreless first half, this turned into a wildly entertaining game. Mason McDonald to JT Hartman. Hartman reaches for the touchdown, and it's a 7 0 lead. Fourth and long now for Byron Center. Bulldogs need a big play. Landon Tungate feels the pressure, drops back, fires up a prayer. Not the most advised pass, but he puts it right on the number for Isaac Lee, and he's in for a score. We're tied 7-7. Seven seven. Fourth quarter now. Rangers again go to Hartman, and he's going to go 41 yards. He's got some blocks, and he's in for the score. And they are up 14-7. Bulldogs now march downfield. Offense had kind of stalled most of the night, but here Caden Krause going to bully his way in. And it's 15 seconds left, a one-point game. Do you go for the extra point in overtime? Do you go for two in the win? They go for the win. Tungate to Blake Otto. Watch this catch on the two-point conversion. Unbelievable. Byron Sutter wins it 15 to 14, and that is definitely worth a backflip. It's going to be hard to top that one. Now, before they split up the West Michigan Conference into two divisions, the Lakes and Rivers, it was dominated by Montague and Oak Ridge. Now, we're talking about North Muskegon trying to repeat in the Rivers. And Hart being the team standing in their way as we pick things off in the first quarter. James Young is going to heave one over to Alec Newville from 24 yards out as the Norsemen set the scene early. But Hart had an answer. Connor Edwards airs it out to Iman Hertzler. That would make the score seven to six, but the Norsemen end up pulling away second quarter. Young gets it over to Tristan Thomas. This one puts North Muskegon up 14-6 as he punches his way into the end zone. Young would put it away for good measure. Two yards out and he is in as North Muskegon wins the Battle of Unbeatens 34-14. Our third spotlight game is another Battle of Unbeatens, this time from the OK Blue. Spring Lake at West Catholic. Both teams 4-0 and both have big conference wins. We'll get right into it. Alec Wickstrom gets us going with a target to Charlie De Bruin. He makes a dive for the pylon after a great run down the sideline. He gets in there. They get on the board 7-0. We're still in the first. This time, Wickstrom goes a bit deeper. He airs this thing out for Cole Bauer. Cole Bauer wide open. Another score, and they are in control. Second quarter, it's Reed Grimmer who punches it in for the two-yard touchdown. They get Spring Lake on the board. They're down just to score, but this thing was all West Catholic. Max Wildman runs run right in before halftime. And final score, 33-7, as West Catholic stays undefeated. 